Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to use the luminance curve for color grading. This is a super useful tool which you can use to step up your color grading. I'll be doing this tutorial in DaVinci Resolve, but the same curve will be available in Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. As I'm explaining how things work, keep an eye on the histogram, it will help make things clear. So here's the curve. Starting from the left, we have the black point. Moving this up along the left edge raises the black level. Moving it to the right along the bottom edge will lower the black level. This point is for the shadows. Raising it will raise the shadows and lower in it will bring down the shadows and add contrast at the same time. And this one is for midtones, the same as all the other points. Bring it up and it raises the midtones, bring it down and it brings them down. We can use this point to control the overall exposure. Then we have the highlights working in exactly the same way as all the other points. We can use this to add contrast to the highlights by raising it. And the last point is the white point. Moving this to the left along the top will lower the white level. Moving it down along the right edge will raise the white level. Now I'll be giving you some examples of how you can apply this to your color grading, starting with the S curve to control contrast. We'll start by bringing down the shadows to add contrast to the shadows, making sure that the details in the shadows are still visible. Then we'll bring up the highlights as high as possible making sure that the colors in the sky are still visible and not clipping. And we'll use the midtones to control the overall exposure. When you're grading, the curve should have a smooth shape, which kind of looks like an S. If it looks rough and it's got sudden changes in the curve, you're probably going to be getting bad results, but not always. Sometimes you have to make the curve rough, but most of the time it's better to leave it smooth. The next example is for preserving highlight detail with a smooth shadow roller. You would use this for any scene where the details in the highlights are important and you still want to keep some shadow details. This would be like a sunset scene where the direct sun is in the shot. So we start off by lowering the highlights to the point where the colours in the highlights become more saturated. Then for this shot I'll bring down the shadow slightly for more contrast. Similarly, this example preserves shadow details with a smooth highlight roll off. This is done by simply lowering the shadows and it will work for most situations giving your footage a film look. And for this example I'll quickly apply an S-curve and show you what a raised black level looks like. As you can see the blacks now look a little grey. Some people like this look but just keep in mind that you'll be losing some dynamic range. Just take a look at the histogram and you'll be able to see this. And now getting a little more advanced we will be using the black and the white points to stretch out the footage. Look on the histogram and you'll see what I mean. This works well for quickly grading any flat picture profiles such as Cine4, Cine1 or even S-Log3. This last one is just a bonus example, showing you the curve which most people seem to like. Philip Bloom's footage often looks like this. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial has come in useful. Let me know if it's helped you out. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.